it's Ashwin Rao. Today's video brings you a new maker heralding from the increasingly vibrant Chinese boot making scene. High quality heritage style boots are being made at an increased frequency with great talent, skill, craftsmanship, and a flair for style. This is a model by King's Boots whom I learned about through a boot enthusiast, Bootgazer, also known as Peter, on Instagram. Peter seems to have a pretty good pulse on the Chinese boot making scene, which has come to include brands like XBXS, Boots Factory. I've also seen great work coming from Quan Shoemaker, WM Beijing, which I'm just starting to learn about. But King's Boots features hand welted, hand lasted, hand stitched outsoles, essentially a handmade shoe. This is the C05 boot, which we're gonna take a look at now. Fairly austere packaging, just a paper style boot bag to encompass each boot. This is unlike any other lace to toe boot that I've currently come across in my time in heritage boot wear, but it happens to feature a really unique design scheme. Most lace to toe boots that I've come across have a facing that drops lower down the vamp to about this level here, but you can see that Sue and King's Boots started their lacing system with this six eyelet, two speed hook combination a little higher along the vamp. This creates the profile of a boot that almost looks like a service or derby style boot. And I saw a version of this on Instagram and reached out to Sue who then discussed different options with me. I ended up choosing a makeup that included a double row stitch down construction, a brown suede Charles F. Stead leather. This is a suede leather that has a very soft handle and a quicker break in, which he recommended for more of a comfortable wear and a natural edge dressing using a Dr. Soul 1220 super grip sole. First off, you see this triple row of stitching, which has contrasting dark brown and white stitches in three rows that adorns this side panel as well as the back heel. You can see that the back heel counter arcs across the back side of the shoe. And then there's a separate piece of leather with this decorative stitching that adorns this part of the shaft and ends up creating this pull tab here. You can see the CF stead leather here is pulled over to create this roll that has a piping effect. And this is the flesh side of that leather rolled over and folded here to provide a little extra padding along the top of that collar. The work done here on the outsole stitching, as you can see as I pull in, is pretty darn impressive. This is the cleanest work I've seen done since the work that I've seen from Flame Panda. And this is hand done work. So I'm very satisfied and pleased with the appearance and cleanliness and the cleanliness of this work. This Cuban style tapered heel, which is tapered both in this side profile, but also if you look here, you'll see the taper that creates this nice counterpart to the shape of the back heel. You can see a natural edge dressing and a leather midsole right here. And you can see a beautiful full grain leather heel stack here. What I love about King's Boots is their desire to take traditional designs such as this lace to toe design and stretch it, but not stretch it so far that the shoe becomes gaudy or overly eye catching. This is a subtle change where the lace to toe style is driven more towards the derby boot or even the service boot style. If we look above, you see the flesh side of the leather creating the tongue here. So really you're just flipping that leather around and creating a contrast to the suede upper to create a little bit more dynamism to the look. This is a non-gusseted tongue. So theoretically, if it's raining and you're not covered or wearing shorts, you might notice some seepage of water because there is no gusseting to that tongue. If we zoom in a little bit, you see the size stamped on the insole there as well as the King's boot 
logo, which has a cool, almost Art Deco-ish vibe to it. I kind of dig that. How clean the work done on the stitching is as we peer just that much closer to the shoes. All in all, I'm very satisfied with the work I'm seeing done here. As I present the back side of the boots, the only issue I saw at all is a slightly different angle between the top of this stitching and this stitching here. Slightly different angles to the top of that little pattern there. But other than that, everything else looks very, very well done. Closer look at the speed hook here, which I think is going to do a pretty good job securing the lace because of that deep groove, though I would have liked to have seen a little bit of texture on the shaft there to really hold in that lace, but we're going to see how that does in the real world. Details here, I wanted to talk a little bit about the shape of this particular last. This is appearing to be a round-toed, somewhat symmetric looking last. I know that Sue really worked hard to rework his lasts to appeal to more broad heritage enthusiast market, and I think this is going to do well. A relatively low end step here reminds me a little bit more of like say an Osmo style design for that in step. All in all, as you can see, I think there's just a very clean presentation. You can see the profile of the shoe is really handsome. The leather work done is very cleanly done without any scuffs or scratches on the leather. The stitch work both on the uppers and on the outsole stitching is really clean. The Heel stacks are finished well. Just a really fantastic entry into this increasingly competitive international heritage bootwear market. So I'm really excited about King's Boots, and I hope you are too. Right now, production time seems to be hovering around six to eight weeks, which is what it took to get my particular pair from Sue. Communication was easy via Instagram, direct messaging, they do communicate well in English and are very pleasant. They provided a tracking number. Everything was seamless and the shipping was quick. So I'm very satisfied. Should you have any questions or thoughts you wish to share, please leave a comment in the comment section. Feel free to reach out to me either here or on Instagram. I'm happy to answer any questions since this is a boot that's relatively new to the market. And I do think that they're gonna do a great job for you. Um, all said and told, you get a first impression here and I'm gonna continue to report back on these boots over time, both via Instagram and in future videos. So I hope you're doing well. I'll talk to you soon. Have a good day. Bye-bye.